Hey everyone, welcome back to the makeup chair. So I recently did a video showing you guys how to create different eyeshadow combinations and a few little tips and tricks. And one thing that kept coming up in the comments was how do you use blue? Blue. I know exactly what you mean because blue is a total blind spot for me. I really struggle with blue eyeshadow. I just find it so difficult, but I love it so much at the same time. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can create different combinations on using blues. However, let's recap a little bit on the last video. If you haven't seen it at all, go and check out the description box. It's the first link in there. I've also linked it at the end of this video. But let's just recap. So in that video, I talked about how we needed three things to create a basic eye makeup look. A light, medium, and a dark. Your light is about one shade lighter than your skin tone. Your dark should be at least one shade darker than your skin tone. And then your medium shade, which is pretty much a combination of both of these mixed together, but with a matte finish. But I also talked about how this color in between doesn't necessarily have to be a combination of both of these. Now this one is, however, we could swap it in for something like this. You can see how very close these two are, but this one has a little bit more of a pink tone. So you can use either or. Now that we've refreshed on this, let's move on to using blues. And before we actually use blues, unfortunately I have to to talk about purples. Here we have three eyeshadows, two purples and one blue, and they're all exactly the same shade, exactly the same depth, the same finish, but just different colors. If you know how to use purples, you will actually learn how to use blues, which is why I'm gonna talk about it. I do find purples so much easier to work with, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. So let's just put this blue away for a second, and we'll come back to him later. So here we have two purples, but completely different tones. This one right here, this is called Cranberry, and this one is called Royal, and sometimes the names can be a really good giveaway on what's actually going on within the shadow. A purple with a pink undertone, purple with a blue undertone. Cranberries have that red tone, so red cranberry. Royal, royal blue, blue undertone. Despite the fact that these two purples are very different, both of these eyeshadows would have very similar palettes built around them. For our mid-tone for this particular look, I would go for something like this. This is a medium tone. It's very similar to my own skin tone, but it has a little bit more of a pinky finish. So unlike something like this, which which is very similar to my skin tone, but has more of a yellow finish. This one has more of a pink tone, so it works better with picking up on the purple within both of these. So here we have our mid-tone or transition shade that's gonna be worked into the crease. And then for highlighters, pretty much anything goes when it comes to purples. Same things with blues. Purples work with silver, gold. Let's keep this something in between and get rid of these guys. Then we also have what I refer to as a fade shade that picks up on the tones within our other eyeshadows. It kind of helps the transition shade to transition, so it's like a bonus transition shade or a fade shade because it's only used to fade the edges. So here we have one combination that would work perfectly. And then we have this combination, which would also work per perfectly because that's a word. I think this is pretty obvious that this would work really well together. But then when you see it with a bluey purple, you can see also how that works really well together. And you can see how your blue also works with all of these because your bluey purple does. So as long as it works with bluey purple, it'll pretty much work with a true blue. Best way to start using blue is to mix it with a purple because purples are so easy to use. So try mixing up your purples and your blues together for your contour on the outer edge of your eye. You then have your two colors up here which can be used as your transition shades and then you also have your highlighter. And I've left a space here to talk a little bit about lid shades because maybe you wanna add in a lid shade as well. So what we can add in here is we can add in this color right here which is like a light bluey purple. This is called unicorn and to me I always think of unicorns as being like a light bluey purple. So <laughs> I know this is gonna work with this particular look. Let's take away our purples and move on to just blues by themselves. Let's bring in this blue guy right here. We're gonna stick to this as our contour shade. This is gonna go on the lid. This is gonna be the inner corner. And then we still have our two shades that we can use in the crease of the eye. And peaches just look so amazing with blues. They will really help it fade. And that's why I really wanna keep that peachy color in there. Let's put these away for a second and let's bring in these two. You can see how really close these two are. Basically the same transition shade, creasy shade, still works really well. This one has more of a pink tone. This one has more of a yellow tone. Then we have our peach and we have our orange. Still really bold colors, both matte, a little goes a long way. So there are fade shades. So we're swapping these ones out for these two right here. Our highlighter can pretty much remain the same because it works for both of these. It's not too silvery or too gold. It's somewhere in between. And then we also have our two lid shades. This combination would work great too. Here we have the same palette, but just different skin tones. If you've got warmer or yellow or olive undertone, you might wanna choose this side. If you've got more of the cooler or pinky or blue undertone, you might wanna choose this side. If you have any more questions about blues, definitely let me know, but hopefully I covered everything in this video and I'll see you in the next one.